guys, Pastor Mike, and uh, wanted to send a quick video to talk to you a little bit about TFH Loves. Uh, if you're getting this video, it's because you signed a connection card or signed up that you wanted to be involved with that project. And so we've been working real hard on the system of how this is going to work and exactly what it is and just a lot of logistics. And um, we could use a little UPS help. I'm kidding. Um, but the uh, TFH Loves, what we really decided after talking with the elders and the deacons, is that uh, TFH Loves is in-house. Um, in other words, anything that we do that is not for somebody here is really missions, uh, because that is us reaching out, um, and that will be organized through missions, which the deacons of that are, are Mike and Patty Blackhall. And so uh, this, this concept of TFH Loves is, in the scripture, it's very clear that we are to take care of the orphans and the widow. We are to take care of the saints. I mean, there are several scriptures that really uh, point us to that. And so TFH Loves is about us taking care of those that we have uh, in, in the Father's house that have needs, widows and, and uh, some of our, our seniors and, and different ones. And so we already have a couple of different projects uh, that we really need. Um, someone to help with and so uh, that's part of me uh, making this video so I wanted to explain to you how we're going to begin to organize that so what we want to do is we want to ask some of you uh, that are part of TFH Loves uh, to be project managers now some of you might hear that term and think I don't know anything about construction or I don't know anything about building something or this and that uh, we actually had a, a time uh, last year when one of our senior ladies who was not a construction person and did not physically have the ability to do that, she was a project manager. Uh, we told her about something that needed to happen, and what she did was she helped organize it. And so there will be some times when it's just a matter of us going over and taking care of somebody's yard that um, anybody really can, can organize that, put it together, make the phone calls, pick the date, tell everybody, and communicate all that information to whoever is going to do that. So uh, it could be that there are some projects, like we have a project right now where uh, we may actually go and do some roofing on somebody's house. Obviously, that's going to require somebody that has a, a little bit of background. There may be a, some of you that have a, a mechanical background, and so maybe we've got someone who needs some help with their car. Uh, so just a project manager really can be in a lot of different areas. Uh, but it also can just be someone who's administrative. So part of me sending this email is to ask you to consider uh, putting your, uh, your name in the hat to be a project manager. What that means is this. When we get a request in, like currently we have a request for one of our widows in the church who uh, needs some work on a sink. Uh, she's willing to pay for the materials. She just needs somebody to come do it. Um, and so what that means is we would send out an email and it would go only to the project managers not this whole group but only to the project managers and then one of the project managers would say I got it it's mine I got the project and now that project manager will use the hub and this group of TFH loves to communicate to the rest of the group here's the need here's when I would like to do it who can help me and then organize the day getting the materials the people to do that and that sort of thing so that'd be kind of the flow um, is that basically we get in the request, request would go out to project managers, project manager uh, would pick it one of the, and say, I've got it, and then that project manager would, would organize it, would uh, communicate with the rest of the TFH Loves uh, group and uh, set all that stuff up to, to accomplish it. So if you would be willing uh, to be possibly be a project manager, and again, it can be as simple as organizing people, uh, if you have some construction background, you would do that. Would you please email Maggie? And uh, um, she will uh, help to put that into Hub and, and organize that group in a way that we know who the project managers are so that requests go to them first. Uh, now, for some of you, when I say talk about using the Hub, that might be a little strange for you. You may not have done that and worked with our database. Uh, please let Maggie know that you need some information and or some help in how to deal with the hub. So don't let that uh, make you not be a project manager. Maggie can help you to, to, to know exactly how you need to, uh, what you need to know to, to be able to do that also. Um, wanted you to know we will also uh, be building waivers into the scenario so that um, we make sure that individually you are 
covered from any kind of lawsuit. We will also make sure that the church is covered. Um, and so there will be waivers that will have individuals sign and the people that we're working on their house sign so that there's a, this, a safety net uh, for everyone involved with that. Um, and project managers, we will also ask you to sign a confidentiality agreement uh, that we want to be careful with the privacy of uh, our information. Um, and so, for example, uh, you will notice in this email that we've sent out some information without using any names about some potential projects that we need a few people to step up and say that they would help take on. So uh, working really hard, like I say, to get this organized so that we can do this and have a nice, neat system, uh, but that we can be the church, uh, that we can take care of uh, the orphans and the widows, uh, the seniors, those that are handicapped in some way, uh, those that are really struggling and, and maybe in a transition time. So thanks again uh, for being a part. So many of you guys signed up. It's very, very cool. And um, I just think it's going to be a neat thing to see uh, for the months and even years to come uh, that we, as we organize this uh, to watch the church be the church and to love on and take care of people. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to uh, email Maggie and ask her. And uh, we'd be happy to uh, take entertain any um, thoughts, too. Uh, if you've got some thoughts on how, a better way to organize uh, or communicate, uh, please feel free to let us know that also. So thanks again for signing up and look forward to seeing um, some of our people get taken care of uh, through this organization. So have a great week. We'll see you guys on Sunday.